Now, I say it a lot, but this time I mean it. It's been a while since we streamed this one. Slime Rancher. Let's get it done. Well, good morning, good night, good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Phil with YouTube. Welcome, everybody. Good old Slime Rancher we got today. That's not Slime Rancher. That is a no signal capture card. This, however, is Slime Rancher. In a second. There. Whoop. Whoop. That is. What is this? Oh, it's. I think it's displaying like this because of uh of Delta Rune. <laughs> Let's resize this real fast. Slime Rancher, despite all things, is not Delta Rune. Hate to spoil it for you guys. All the big secrets. So what is Slime Rancher if you've never seen it before? This is the real quick synopsis. Uh, it's like oh, it's been so long since I played this game. It's like uh. Like, like, like a farming game. What's happening to my mouse? There we go. It's like one of those farming games. Except, what's happening to my mouse? Hold on a minute. I can't move my mouse at all. What's going on? Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, now now we're fixed. Um, except instead of farming, like, anything that you would normally farm, you just feed slimes. And it's super cute and it's super adorable. And the game is amazing. And I think you all should play it. But I've been playing it for a long time. I have my farm very well and developed by now. Uh, okay. You guys all need to be like rest. So we have these delightful little drones that were added, I believe, in like the one of the most recent updates. My mouse just keeps on cutting out. I don't know what's going on with that. It's worrisome. Um uh, I'll deal with it more if I need to. But uh what needs to be done? What, what what's the next thing on my docket here? I believe you're just collecting ports, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then depositing them in, in like the money gaining area. Then what else needs to be gotten over here? Yeah, exactly. Instead of instead of farming for agricultural reasons, you farm for adorable reasons. There we go. Okay, you're the one collecting ports. Pretty much all these little bots have tasks. And uh we can just do our, our, our daily lives without having to worry about every little task because of these little wonderful bots that were very recently added. Uh, now, now I'm like not sprinting. Oh, pff, that's just dumb because I don't have enough energy in the bottom left corner, obviously. Fix the title? Thank you. Thank you, chat. My chat still says... Uh, my chat... My, my title still says YouTube. So for the people watching this as a VOD later on, uh, you see, I might have tried to stream the YouTube app that the Switch has, but the reason I wasn't able to was because uh, it detects capture cards and is like, hey, perhaps you shouldn't be streaming this potentially confidential information. And I don't understand why, but I can't stream YouTube. So we're playing Slime Rancher instead. Bam. So what needs to happen? Uh, I believe what we were doing last, and I could be mistaken, I believe what we were doing last was unlocking this new area. Because what we need is we need, I believe, 140 more of these Kukadaba fruits and give them to this delightful chap right here before we unlock a new area. So our goal plain and simply is to just farm for as many kookadabas as we can possibly muster and in order to do that we will need some uh need some conversation topics because otherwise we're just going to be farming kookadabas forever in silence and if you guys have ever seen one of my slime rancher streams you know how these conversation topics work so chat Let's start off with the most recent conversation topic to hit the scene. Work with me, chat. Which side do you stand? Salsa or guacamole? Now, here's my thing. I believe Splatoon specifically says dip, which is the best dipping play, like, 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 like thing to dip your chips in. Now, I will say, I am on the side that salsa is good, but I'm also on the side 
that guacamole is just so much better. Salsa is fine. I have no I have no shade to give salsa. It's like you it's like comparing an A ranking in a video game to an S ranking in a video game. You did it. You accomplished the thing that you needed to do. You got the A ranking. But the S ranking was just that little bit extra. And man, do I love it. Cheese is also like an acceptable answer, but not in this scenario. We don't have that option. But I'm, I'm, I'm a guac boy. I'm a big guac boy. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a life hack. You may not already know this, but guacamole and avocados as a whole are delicious. Oh no. Good save, good save, good save. Are delicious on burgers. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but hands up in chat if you have ever tried guacamole on a burger. Because if you haven't, uh, guacamole or avocado. I personally prefer just guac, but it's, you know, semantics. It's actually godlike. Now some people are saying, of course. Well, here's the thing. That is a, uh, that strategy, that play, that is actually a, a California burger. If you guys ever want to order that sometime and don't know the name of it other than, hey, can I get a burger with guac on it? If you guys want to be fancy and order it correctly, it's called a, it's called a California burger. And it's so, so, so good. I have them all the time. Like, we have, we, like, we have some, like, local burger places. And I swear, man, I am all about the avocados on burgers. Like, I'll have... A normal burger. I'll have like a specialty burger of some variety. Red eye burger, whatever. But man, if it's an option, it's hard to turn down. What's your favorite type of crisps? Uh, I believe that is. Is that a British way of saying chips? I could be wrong. I think that's a British way of saying chips. Or, or referring to chips. Uh, favorite type of chip? Ooh. Actually, oh, this is a, this is a good one. Hopefully, crisps are chips, and it, this translates well as a question. Because oh, okay, we found our exit too. Our exit is right there. Okay. So here's the thing. What are my favorite type of chip? So I'll 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 tell you the the progression of my favorite type of chip. My favorite type of chip growing up. Sour cream and onion. The sort of default, but you know, like not default default chip. The one that everyone had tried at one one time or another. I'm also going by the Lay's variety personally. I I like my favorite type of chip is the Ruffles one. Like, like my go-to chips when I'm not feeling too spicy, when I just want a nice simple chip. What's going on over there? What's going on under there? Trying to sneak a peek. You can't see it though. Yo, well, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, before I can do anything, what's going on under there? You guys see that too, right? There's something down there. Yeah, I really hate barbecue chips. It's a personal pick. I can see why you would like them. But yeah. I love Ruffles chips. Sour cream and onion are, are, the, are the OG. Maybe. Maybe I can go around. Sour cream and onion are, are the OG. What's the one where it's like some sort of cheese? It's some sort of of, of like they they are like a yellow orangish in nature. Hold on, I'm, I'm gimmicking. Uh oh, uh oh. The game didn't appreciate my gimmicking. Um, cheddar or something. Well, what's the combination of those? That's sour cream and cheddar. Sour cream is very good. Sour cream is very good. I don't know what the what the specific name is, but some type. No, 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 no. It's still of, of the ruffles. Oh, maybe it's sour cream and cheddar. 
I'm talking about of the, of the of the ruffles variety. Not 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 cheese puffs. Those are eh. IMO. Cheetos are just best as default Cheetos. Maybe you can argue some of the spicy variety is good. But I, I personally prefer my, my Cheetos, just normal Cheetos. Um uh, Yes, sour cream and cheddar. The more I see it, the more it, it, it reminds me of what's going on down there. What's going on down here? Hold on. What was that? I thought some sort of pop. It was weird. I'll take this though. Um uh, Yeah. Sour cream and onion then? Sour cream and cheddar, whatever it is. It's really good. Um I'm also a big fan. Y'all, hear me out. Salt and vinegar. So salt and vinegar is the snack that most makes my mouth water. Even I actually have to swallow. Even just like thinking of it puts my like my body in like immediately extra salivation. It's like the only food that if I just think about it, I will just um, like like my like my mouth will immediately start to salivate. It's so weird. It happened ever since I was a kid. Literally, just the instant I think about it, I'm like, oh, well, understood. Yes, I agree. You you can't inhale those chips. Salt and vinegar are a like. I can't. I can't. I just literally keep thinking of them. Are a um. They're not my, my always pick. They're like, a, okay, look, I haven't had salt and vinegar chips in a long time. I, I, I could go for some salt and vinegar chips right now. And then I have them. <laughs> that, 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 that's pretty much my, my, my feelings on them. They're good. They're very good. But I agree, you cannot, like, inhale them too crazily. Here's what I'm going to do with, this, with, 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 with my plans for this area. I'm going to... I see a couple Kukadavas over here. I'm going to go pluck them and then return home and see what happens. What's up with these guys? Hold on a minute. Stop right there, evil scum. Go about your day, citizens. Also, what's going on with these slimes? Am I insane or are they leaving a weird, like, blop? when they land like that yeah hold on a minute this is very not natural are these, these, these the, the, the quick silver ones potentially eat this sorry what do these guys eat I don't think you like these do you like these no you don't um, they on Sunday play Yokai Watch Sunday. I understand the thing Pokemon rip off is super fun. Uh, you, maybe one day I will. Maybe. I probably don't want to go out of my way to play Yokai Watch unless it's like the like the sponsor game or something. But like, I don't know, maybe. Weird. What do you think about the Mandela effect? What's the Mandela effect? It's very strange. I, I'm aware of what this is. Probably. I'm not sure if it's appropriate to discuss on the stream, but I kind of forget what it is. I remember the name very well. And probably once I'm reminded of it, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the Mandela effect. Daniel, it's natural? Okay, weird. Never mind then. It's my own brain playing thoughts on me here. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh, Slime Rancher is not for me, it looks boring. Completely understandable. This is one of those things that it's like, it's a super, super, super chill game. Like, I just enjoy running around it. Like, like, like you know how in Minecraft you would end up like running around and like parkouring on things? Like randomly, even though you have nothing better to do? That, that's what I like view this game as because of it, its cool jetpack function. Um. Hold on. For example, some pe people think Pikachu had a black tip tail on its head before cosplay Pikachu existed. Weird. What a strange thing to ask me about. It's the kind of thing where you remember something that was never there in the first place. I mean, 
happens. Like, I'm not sure if it's like a, uh, like one of those like deja vu instances. Do I think it's some sort of supernatural energy that like causes multiple people to like all have the same thought? Like, like the Bernstein versus Bernstein bears or whatever it, like the argument is. Is it something like that? Eh. Be it's me. I, I need to see more of the science among it in order to actually have like a a real thought on it aside from it just being like a cool idea. Did I get that one? I did not get this one. Stop biting me. I need that cookie dabba. I like this one too. Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat food after this. Ooh, wow. A lot of cookie dabbas. That's a big appreciate for me. Um, what else do you guys want me to talk about? Ow. Stop. I can talk about many things. You guys take your pick. Uh, I think we were on chips. Well, that's weird. Where were we on the chip argument? Or not argument, but just like debate about which is best. Wave 3 DLC looks really cool for Kirby. Kirby Wave 3 DLC has me hype. Uh, I've played all of the games, so it, it's cool to see more of these bosses sort of popping up here and again. I see a Kirby Kirby Dabba down there. World of Light. I mean, what's to say about World of Light? Y'all already know my thoughts on that. If you saw my video where I just screamed for a while, Kirby main protagonist is like deluxe hype. What can I say about that, man? Zelda looks cool. Fun character. Um, gonna be made into a more fun character, into a character that's not only fun, but also potentially tournament viable. I think any character with a kill throw can be tournament viable. Like, if you have a kill throw, like a really good kill throw in, in Smash Bros, especially in like the Smash 4 era, like, you can be viable. Maybe you aren't the, like, like A tier or anything. But I feel like, like you're immediately decent. I don't know what's happening with my mouse. It's kind of freaking me out. It's okay for now. So I believe the teleporter I'm supposed to be taking is somewhere over here. Although I wish I, I wish I could like mark down in the map. But unfortunately, whoa! This tree is very beautiful. <clears throat> Only just noticed that. Also, can I get, go over there? I feel like I may actually have the ability to. I love this game, man. Oh. It's been such a long time since I played a game that gives me such freedom of exploration. This game reminds me a little bit, oddly, of Breath of the Wild. If the exploration in Breath of the Wild was not always intended. Because I feel like some of the things I end up climbing up here are not meant for you to be climbed up. But just because of the physics of the game, you can. Well, that's my teleport. Like... That's what makes it feel so cool. Like, if I do manage to climb up somewhere, it feels like I earned it. Like, I was like, like, I, I, I got up there despite the game, like, trying to shoehorn me not to be able to. Also, hello there. Hello, you. Move. Perfect. Peach cloud tree. Neat. I do like these. I guess this is what a, what a peach cloud tree is. Very nice. Alright. We're, 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 we're idling a little bit too much here. Let's grab that cuckoo dab I see in the distance and, and head back. Cuckoo dabs are important here. The goal is to get as many of those as possible. Do we need 140? I'll tell you what, it definitely doesn't seem like a an easy feat. Even if in each run of these I got 50, that's still, that's still a lot of runs, man. I think this part, okay, this part of Slime Rancher, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of. This, like, sort of, uh, very grindy, like, 
not like okay it's cool if you grind in an area uh oh uh oh uh oh that is a big oopsie we just lost 36 kukudabas oh I'm so good about never falling that's like one of the first times I've just straight up took a death man I, I deserved it though I deserved it I definitely was over greedy oh I just personally think the grind for this is so is so like tedious like, I don't want to just grind forever. Just getting infinite amounts of kukadabas. At least we only lost one, one, one run's worth. I must admit, I definitely should have should have deposited before uh, before trying to get greedy. But I guess I like never die in this game. So I definitely understand where my false confidence came from. That's okay, though. If anything... We are perfectly in a decent situation. It's not like we really lost anything too substantial. Cuckoo Dabas are just simple to run back and and uh, grab another round of. That being said, I wonder if there's anything else. Okay, there's no auto farming over here, is there? Okay, we should we should we should maintain these guys over here. I mean, I remember when we were first building this area over here. Oh my gosh. I think I've been playing this game for now like th two, three years now. I remember like my first play session in this game. I ended up playing for like five hours. It was like, man, I really need to stream this game. It's a very fun game to play. All right, let's get 50 in each. There we go. Well, 51 and 49 technically, I suppose. I'm gonna copy paste the world of light lyrics into chat. I don't think you need to. Dude, world of light, it looks so good, man. Oh my gosh. What character do you guys want, want me to give my opinions on from Ultimate? Bear in mind, I'm not like, you know, as, as, as knowledgeable as some. But uh, I'll definitely get my thoughts on it, my personal thoughts on the character. Inkling, fun, super fun, fast paced. Uh, can't wait to learn how to play as them and, and, and get as good as I can with them. Uh, splat bombs look like, like a fun little range, like a fun, a fun little spacing tool you can apply some extra edge pressure with, uh, as well as potentially you might be able to, <coughs> excuse me, to, to go in with them, like, like throw one at someone's shield and just sort of try and make some pressure to not drop their shield. And it's gonna be a very fun mix up tool. In my opinion, um, very, very, very much looking forward to playing them, especially learning how to work with a the roller. They're definitely one of my like day one picks. Like the instant I get them, I'm, I'm labbing them out and figuring out how they work. Um, also, it's gonna take all these and turn them into money. Uh, let's see. What else? What else do we have that you guys are interested in? Me? King Cave Rule. I haven't seen enough about him to have a really concrete opinion. Seems very good though. Seems very good. For like a heavyweight, I would love to see some more heavyweight representation. And I don't know, man. Oh, hello there, buddy. Excuse me. Excuse me, friendo. Right now, he, he looks like it's a very threatening character. A back air that spikes like Lucas's back air. Just like overwhelming like, like, oh, he just feels like he's going to be very scary to fight against. And a scary to fight against heavyweight? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Probably not a character that I would play. But man, do I love his theme. Greninja. I don't know enough about him. Sorry. I've seen, I seen. I know about him in Smash 4 to a small degree. Ultimate? Literally no thoughts on him yet. I need to see a lot more before I have any thoughts on him in, in Ultimate. Um... This guy too. Perfect. Then, well, some people say Isabel looks really good. I mean, big time zoner. Gonna be gonna be very scary to approach. 
and Isabel, I'd imagine. Um, especially with the fishing rod, it'd just be like very threatening as as a character. Um, we'll have to see more about how she works. How about ice climbers? They do a lot of damage. They do, they do a lot of damage. Um, I haven't been watching too much Ice Climbers gameplay. I just remember from the original gameplay I saw of them, like they looked very threatening. Now how players adapt to that might be different. You know, maybe there's just like a, like a good way of just dealing with them. Um, that's very powerful in Smash Ultimate. We'll have to see how that sort of plays out. But so far, they, they, they look like they're gonna be pretty good. Um, Piranha Plant? Nah, I need to see way more on them. I, I have no opinion yet. Look like they're gonna be fun. I'm sure they're gonna become a very fun game, like, character to just, like, mess around with friends on. Like, hey, plant dittos. Incineroar? Oh, terrible recovery, great on stage game, a very threatening grappler character. Uh, would love to see how he ends up, like, you know, how he ends up doing at tournaments. I think that, that that horrible recovery is gonna really shoot him in the foot. I mean, a lot of characters in Ultimate just can't recover anyway, but the ones in the top tier are gonna be the ones that definitely can recover, in my opinion. Like, Jigglepuff won't be too far up there, I think, because she kinda gets out outranged. I feel like characters like Mewtwo are still just going to be better than Jigglypuff. Like, there's nothing really that Jigglypuff can do unless she got a, like, a major overhaul, which she did not yet. Um, so I personally don't see her being up there. Same with Kirby in that, in that same area. Um, Kirby might be fun, but I just think, like, Mewtwo's still gonna be the better floaty. Uh, if you wanna, like, play a character. Maybe that could be argued because, like, small character size might be pretty nice. Uh, Game & Watch, neat. I, I think their changes are, are, are cool. I need to see a little bit more about, like, how they were changed, if it's, if what Game & Watch mains are saying about them, but they seem okay. Ken? I was never a big, big Ryu player to begin with. Um, Ryu is one of my least favorite characters, just because I, I, he goes against how my current playstyle is. I'd be interested in trying Ken, being like, okay, let's see how he plays. Uh, I also saw someone say Richter before, Richter and, Richter and, uh, Simon Belmont. So I will purchase that. Why not? Ooh, golden short shot. Ooh, I like this. Whatever this is, grants me. Um, Richter is actually on my radar of potential main secondaries. Richter, Simon, they just seem real fun. I got a lot. I, I I can't lie. I gotta lie. I can't lie, man. Like like, they just have that like that zoner personality that I would totally be down with playing. Like, I, I would I would be so in. Waluigi should not be playable, by the way. I, I would love if he was, but he's not. So I, I don't feel like you should get your hopes up. He's not playable. Like, like, maybe there would be, like the only way it would happen would be some sort of like, he kicks away his, uh, his assist trope and he's like, wah ha Waluigi playable. But, like, I don't know. I, I feel like if they did that, then it's like, you know, the, 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 I feel like that would be a sign of almost weakness in a way. Like, like it would convey the wrong message. Because you already know Waluigi fans really got pretty crazy with, like, their desire to see Waluigi. They were, they, they were going pretty wild. They were just sending death threats to Sakurai and everything. So I feel if it, if they did get in, it would be like one of those like oh god the threats the threats worked kind of a thing. I don't think that's 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 a good image. Also, don't forget all reps from here on out were chosen by um, Nintendo. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could go in that way. Uh, all reps from here on out are chosen by Nintendo for the DLC section of the game. So like, we have no idea what that could be. I personally have no idea what that could be. It could be a marketing thing. It could be a oh hello. What's this? Cool. I had no idea what that was. Uh, it could be a marketing thing. Could be a Nintendo just wants to reference a character. Uh, I I have no idea. I need to know fan writing. If you were a girl, what would you look like, and what would your name be? I don't know. Danielle. 
seems like a pretty fitting one in name. What I look like, I don't know. Your imagination, man. Just as potent as mine in this situation. Um, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I would have loved Rex as a character. Someone was saying Rex. I would have loved Rex as a character. Uh, he didn't get in though. So all we can do is shrug and be like, well, too bad he didn't get in. Maybe next time, buddy. Uh, glad to see he's, he's at least being repped along with Pyra in spirits mode. It has a meat, and has, of course, the meat costume. Oh, right, we can't use that one yet. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess that ornament can just hang out here for a while. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Who are you? Who are you? It's a party Gordo. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these guys in, 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 in like the wild. Well, hey, I found what we're doing for the rest of the stream. Um, uh, Phil Boy's Purple Chef on his own channel. Purple Chef channel is uploading again. Not sure if you guys saw. I will just say, I will make, I will make my statement. That Purple Chef is still gonna remain a thing on his channel. Like, I, I, like, I'll bring Chef over on, on videos now and again. This is a cute little reference. But he's never really gonna become a, a thing on, on the Failboat channel. This is a heads up for all that. Well, I am tied with the TNT world still. It's, it's one of those things, it's sort of, it, it's not really relevant on the Failboat channel. But yeah. It's cool to see the uploads again. Uh, really, Dan? Want to bet? What? Bet on, on, on Shep becoming a mainstay thing on this channel? Oh, I mean, well, the community can make it relevant all, 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 all it wants. I guess what I was mainly saying is, I have no current plans on, on Shep being a relevant thing on this channel. Personally, I'd rather it not be. I like Shep. I really do. But it's, it's, it's... it's I like growing via my own videos and my own content on this channel, you know? Like, like that, 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 that's my big growth thing. Like, I love being able to like, collab with, with content creators, but I, I, I prefer growing via, via the community I want to grow on here. Oh, wow. This guy grew fast. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Oh my god, wait a minute. Okay, this buzz wax and all this stuff going down. There are things that need to be picked up. I chose the wrong day to try and make... Hold on, wait. Do we still have the pink slime? <laughs> no! Hold on a minute. You. How do we do this? How on earth can we do this? I want to keep a party slime. But how? I think we can push them. Chef hasn't uploaded in like forever. That's untrue. He's uploaded today. I'm gonna be real. I don't think this is possible. Slimes are way too chaotic. Unless we did this. No, that's, that, 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 that's not gonna work. I mean, I don't mind keeping at least a box. Someone was saying, bring a box home? Why not? Let's bring a party box home. Yeah, let me, let me just grab everything here. Uh, or grab what I can here. No one remembers that, that wolf is an ultimate? I remember he, that he's an ultimate. 
I think a lot of people are just like so excited about other characters. Wolf doesn't just feel like the like the most standout character in this situation. I think there's another one down here I can pick up. That I'm abandoning the, the beeswax and everything else. There we go. Drag him using the suction. Uh, well that's the issue. Fill up your inventory and drag the slime with the suction. Oh! <gasps> no, no, no! You're right though. Where is he? Okay. This is a daring strat. Let me do this. This is beyond daring. Because he bounces like crazy. No! Come with me, buddy. Come with me, buddy. Come with me, buddy. It's working. I'm paying full attention, by the way, to my game right now. Normally, I keep an eye on the chat. Today, for this for this moment, I have other ambitions. And if it doesn't work, then you know it doesn't work. Then we just grab the box. I only want one. Come with me, buddy. Stay there for a second, buddy. Let me map out our route. No, buddy, come on. This is what I'm dealing with, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> I'm refueling my, my energy. Oh, we lost him, we lost him, we lost him, we lost him. I tried to make a big brain plate, it did not work. Oh, that did not work. This is gonna this is gonna be a nightmare. I tried to spin it, but the range of this thing did not come through for me. Goodness me. Hello, buddy. You didn't see that, right? Oh, with me, buddy. What if you only had one shot, one opportunity? Uh oh, uh oh, my mouse, oh, my mouse cannot give out now. <sighs> we can't let him build up momentum. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna use the push functionality a lot more. Okay. You stay there for a second. This is going to be a nightmare. I think if we lightly tap him, he won't move. <gasps> That's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. Oh. Well, if I couldn't make it there, I was not going to be able to make it all the way over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> snake, snake, snake. That is a big rip from me. That was a beyond hard ask. I was gonna say impossible, but I don't know about that. 
goodness me. People saying read chat don't even aren't even looking at the game. I don't know, man. Ooh. That was something. That was something awful. Alright, well hey. What I'm gonna do to wrap up this stream. I'm gonna grab an ornament. We're gonna grab a box. We're gonna run it back home. Cause even if we can have our slime boy, we can at least bring home this little box. Inside will contain a gift, which will never be opened unless we accidentally do so. Which seems perfectly, perfectly possible. Here comes my anxiety. I agree, Master Creator. I completely agree. <clears throat> Don't hit the box. Don't hit the box. Do not hit the box, please. You can do whatever you need to, but do not hit the box. There we go. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Eight balls all over again. Oh, dude, honestly, that section was an eight ball level. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. What is your best game? That's a strange question. What is my best game? I think Smash Bros. I personally really prefer Smash Bros. There we go. Before we head out though, hey there lurker. Who hasn't said anything in chat? You wanna ask one quick question? If I recognize the name of someone asking a question, I won't read it. I'm only gonna read from the people that uh that are lurking right now. If anyone wants to say anything, who's just been hanging out in the background. I'm gonna put this gift right here. It just breaks. Oh, that 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 that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, played in three years, stream for three hours, three pink ornaments. Exactly. You eat breakfast today? No, I did not, unfortunately. I wish I did. Are you talking to me? Yo, what's up, Merrick? Um, uh, thoughts on Breath of the Wild Link? Oh, what's up, Silent Dash? Nice to see you. Um, uh, Breath of the Wild Link looks fun. Looks very, very fun. Thoughts on Krom? Haven't seen enough. Looks like an interesting character. Apparently, they have a very bad recovery. I haven't even seen the recovery yet, so <laughs> maybe that's why it's so bad. Uh. What do you think about Magalore coming to Star Allies? Sounds very hype. I'm totally in on it. Very eager for it. How do you feel about Wario? Eh. They're a character. <laughs> that's, how my, that's how I view it. Least favorite newcomer? That's a good question. Ridley? From a series I don't care about? And as a character I aesthetically don't care about. Seems like a pretty good pick. Um. Oh, Dan, basketball. Um. Yo, we can do basketball real fast. Party Gordo. One, two, three, four, five for those cloudy ornaments. Probably need to reset those. Center those. I'll do those later. Add you right in the middle. And then. One, two, three. We'll decorate those a little bit more evenly later on. All right, guys. We're going to play one game of basketball. How does basketball work? Plain and simply this. Ah, this is freaking out still. We're going to get our 20 pink slimes here. Our 20 pink slimes. And we're going to play basketball. Chat. We're going to play this one time only. Guess how many... Hoops, I'm gonna hit right now. Start guessing now. And stop guessing. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Take a screen cap of your number. Let's see who who's gonna get it right. It begins.
That was an amazing round. Get them all back. Get them all back. Here we go. Oh no, we lost our hover. This is not good. They're going for food. They're hungry. Get the, get the charge back. Here we go. Big mess ups. Big mess ups. Uh oh no. Oh, we're, we're so off sync. We had an amazing first round and now we are completely off sync. Good. Good round, good round, good round, good round. So that's it. 28, boys. If anyone, if anyone of you guys guessed 28, then uh, you are correct. You win nothing. But just know that you are correct. Alright. Let's make sure we can collect all 20. Goodness. What, did the slimes get more elastic recently? Aww. Adorable. They're just hanging out. Oh no, that's a rock. Sorry, buddy. Whip whop. Uh oh, uh oh. So between a rock and a rock. All right. That's 18, that's 19. And this is always the problem. Where is our, ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, <laughs> they're super spooked because of the scarecrow. That's right. And there we go. All the slimes distributed back. Well, hey everybody, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for whatever I feel like doing. It's been a very fun live stream. We'll be doing more of them later. I'll see you guys in like about a week or something. Uh, cause it'll, it'll be a little bit since I'll be going home to visit some family. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fun time. I'll still be everywhere on Twitter. I'll still be probably playing some video games and, and hanging out and stuff like that. It was a very fun stream. Thank you all for coming by. Uh, but we have 450 people, and everyone is saying don't leave, so we're going to put you... I am still going to leave. And all the people who literally just joined, do not worry. Uh, all you leave crew. We're going to be uh, putting you guys over to a different streamer right now. Help support other streamers. I love streaming for you guys. You guys are a wonderful audience, but I want to give other people a chance to entertain you. Uh, people who I have no idea who they are. And I'm just going to search. What game do you guys want to see today? On our Smash Day, you guys feeling? On our Smash Bros Day? We can see who's, who's streaming on Twitch. I feel like I, I rarely do Twitch streams. Uh, please don't do this. Of course I will do this. Supporting another content creator. This is what I want to do. Um, this is all about what I do. Splatoon 2, Smash, Splatoon, Earthbound. Why, you know what? If I, I'm going to search for someone playing Earthbound. If anyone's playing Earthbound, you know what? You got it. Earthbound, 1994. Is anyone live streaming this right now? There is. There's one person streaming it. Lo and behold, I've never even played Earthbound. But you know what? This guy, he's he's eating right now. The cool guy, he's eating. I have no idea what his channel is. No idea what it's like. The guy's eating. He has two viewers. We're, I want you guys to hop on over there. And I want you guys to say, there's a, 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 put a bunch of heart emojis in his chat. Flood his chat with a bunch of heart emojis. Be super cool. Check out his content. Seems like a cool guy. No idea if he does profanity or not, but you know what? Brighten up his day with a bunch of heart emojis. His name is EZL021. Ezlo21. Here is the link to his stream. Thank you all for watching. Tune next time for whatever I feel like doing, and I'll see you around, everybody. Have a good stream. Or have a good rest of your day. <laughs> see you around, guys. Woo!